Okay. Schönen Abend. Kann ich den Namen wie Haar waschen, mehr Scherbe waschen, mehr Kakutasch. Ähm, da bohren es an die Apostles und die Eltern der Great Millstone, wo wir uns lieb sind, wo wir uns lieb sind, wo wir uns lieb sind, wo wir uns lieb sind. Now, ähm, I'm gonna call this video the flip side. Okay. Alright, but before I get into it, um, I just wanna, you know, again, show this page, GMS Jacob Arisen. You know, I've had a couple of pages that's been, you know, completely and um, indefinitely clipped. You know, I'm working off this page, which is now my main page, GMS Exalt the Most High. But I've now created a backup page, um, GMS Jacob, excuse me, GMS Jacob Arisen. So, Baba Kasha, if you could subscribe to this, um, you know, there'll be some re-uploads from this page going on. Jacob Arisen um, and also some videos that I'll just do straight out and put on the GMS Jacob Arisen page so I'm trying to build it up <coughs> um, just making you Arkham Wakwa for wear um, but because you are subscribed to GMS Jacob Arisen um, which is my backup page um, and um, there will be some other updates put on this page anyhow um, what I do want to do is um go to uh, let me see so yeah go to um this video which I did saying what just over twenty hours ago okay um feeding with um um you know the office of priesthood. And keeping our garments clean and the vibration of things um, at the altar which is the camp now if you haven't watched this video already go ahead and watch it um, but there's the flip side because um, you know the scriptures speak about a false balance is an abomination unto the Lord so you can't speak about one side and not address the other so I'm coming back to this topic to, in to address the internal parts because this video was dealing with the external parts now we've got to deal with the internal parts because um although the external is somewhat important and valid and true the internal is uh where it's really at okay so um um this is the book of matthew 23 and 25 and this is your shy okay our lord our messiah our savior Yahweh Shai. Right, and you know, even at the end, man, we're gonna push the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, in the, in the Holy Spirit, Bashem Rachakodash, man. Okay, we're gonna push the names of Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the name of Yahweh. Alright, and the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, which together are the holy names, man, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so anyways, this is Matthew 25, so 23 and 25, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and, and the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Okay, you know, if you have a cup and you, you wash the outside of the cup, but you don't wash the inside of the cup. You know, it's like, what, uh, what the hell are you doing, man? You know, yeah, you wash the outside of the cup because you're meant to. But more importantly, you got to wash the inside of the cup. You know, that's where the juice is, was in. That's where the water was in. That's where the, 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 the you know, the, 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 the juice stains or marks or whatever is in. You got to, you know, you got to wash the inside, man. But you wash the outside. So if you just look at it from a distance, oh, yep, that cup's clean. But you ain't taking a look inside. All right, but within are full of extortion and excess, man. You know, and that's what um, you know, the wicked ones of the scribes and Pharisees were doing. And it's important to note that not all the Pharisees and scribes were wicked. You had um, uh, righteous scribes and Pharisees who were uh, too awaiting the coming of um Hamashiach. You know, and when he came. You know, despite it being different from what they perhaps expected, they accepted Yahweh Shai as Hamashiach. Okay. Um, he even had disciples of the Lord who were Pharisees. Okay. 
you know, the man who wrote the majority of the New Testament was a Pharisee. Okay, so um, uh, there's nothing wrong with the Pharisaeutical order, but you know, as it it, it goes with every organization, every group, you have a, a righteous uh, set and you have a wicked set. You know, um, and a lot of the Pharisees and scribes did come against Yahweh Shai because he wasn't the, the the prototype Mashiach that they had expected to come. Okay. For you make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within they are full of extortion. You know, you know, like like Benjamin says, man, extort your blood clot, man. You got people that they just they're opportunists, man, and they'll use their rank and position to extort you, and excess, you know, excess in their their uh, possessions, you know, excess in the praise of men, excess in their, you know, out of the parents, things of that nature. Yahweh goes on to say in verse 26, Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside them may be clean also. Exactly, man. You know, and this is why this video is called the flip side, man. All right. You know, you don't just want to appear to be righteous and have a clean garment and present yourself correct. No, that's good. That's good. But guess what? You can appear to be all of that. And a bag of chips, as they say, on the outside, and be filthy on the inside. But if you're clean on the inside, all right, that's gonna portray, uh, and shine forth to the outside, man. So it's important to 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 clean the inside. Once the inside is clean, then the outside will be clean also. Okay, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whitened sepulchres. All right. Which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and all, and and of all uncleanness. Okay, and that's a Jake thing, man. You know, you know, um, you know. To this day, man. You know, people go to people's graveyards, of of family and loved ones. You know, and they'll um. They'll, they'll um. You know, lay fresh flowers every two weeks. You know, pluck up the weeds from the grave, make it look tidy, get a nice marble gravestone, whatever it's called, man. You know, make sure it looks nice. But then, if you was to dig six feet down and open up the box, you know, what the hell are you going to see in there? You know, filth, man. A, a, a decaying body. You know? Right? That stinks and looks disgusting and smells disgusting, man. Okay, just filth. But then, yeah, they at the top on ground level, making it look all nice and tidy. We had that's what Yahweh said. Woe unto you! And the word woe means destruction. Scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, feel like unto whitened sepulchres, man. That nice marble, polished graves and all of that stuff, which indeed appear beautiful, you know, but are within full of dead men's bones and. And all, and and of all unclean uncleanness, okay, you know. So so there you have it, man. You know. You know the Lord is not dealing with um you know people that look, um. That look, the part, but with inside is all manner of filthiness, man. Even so, in verse 28, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity, man. You know? So the flip side, which is the most important side, is to have the heart, the, uh, the mind pure, the mind right, the heart and mind clean. Because naturally then, the outside is going to um, emulate and show forth that which um, uh, is on the inside, man. Okay? You know, and I'm doing this video because, you know, we can't portray a false balance. All right. Like I said, in this video, which I did, I was speaking about the garments and presenting ourselves uh, appropriately at camp, you know, but that has to be coupled up with, that has to be coupled up with a right mind and a right spirit, most importantly. Okay. 
you know, at Great Millstone, we're not interested in the fancy garments, man, and this and that, you know, we, we do that which is required of us, have a garment, have fringes, have a border of blue, make it clean, present yourself, wear clean clothes, you know, wash yourself, comb your hair, come to camp, and the basics, man, okay, you know, that reminds us of Isaiah, in fact, let me get it, I believe it's 53 because Apostle Gabar Apostle Elder Gabar had broke this down I believe it's the 53rd chapter yep um, where is it let me go straight to the point um, yep verse 2 for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground he hath no form of comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. You know, a lot of brothers in time past said, yeah, that meant the Lord was unattractive or didn't, wasn't the best looking of men. No, that doesn't mean that. Apostle Elder Gobar broke it down. What this simply means is that the Lord didn't go above and beyond to beautify himself. He did what was required. Yes, the Lord bathed. Yes, the Lord... Um, the scriptures let us know he wore a garment um, of one seam. You know, his garments that he had, they were all of one linen and one seam. You know, that much we do know. You know, of course, he had the fringes and the border of blue and things of that nature. You know, but, you know, the Lord, yes, the Lord bathed. Yes, the Lord um, uh, wore, um, you know, decent clothing. You know, yes, the Lord combed his hair and things of that nature. But he didn't go above and beyond to beautify it. And, you know, further magnify his looks. So when it says there's no beauty that we should desire him, it meant that the Lord never went above and beyond on these cosmetics, man. You know, and the same sentiments is taught to us by our apostles and elders on down, man. You know, you know, comb your head, wash your, wash your body, be clean, wear, you know, simple, clean clothing. Make sure your garment's clean, okay. Um, comb your hair out, whatever, and just keep it stepping. Do do the, the the requirement and keep it moving, man. That's what that means. Okay. So whilst we uphold all of this, going back to the scripture, it's most important, however, right, that the heart is clean, man. Because you can look the part, you know, you know, but the inward content of a man might not be the part, man. So it's all about the inside, man. So this is the flip side. Shalom.